Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. This is the third in a series of video modules dealing with uh, public choice economics. Uh, this video module is going to be about rent seeking. Uh, indeed, what it does is allow us to bring together our theory of monopoly, our theory of cartels, and also a study of, of the political uh, process. We can return uh, to a very familiar graph. Uh, in these video modules. Here I have simplified the graph by making the marginal cost curve uh, constant, which allows me to make uh, average cost constant. And thereby I can eliminate uh, one line from the graph because that extra line doesn't help us uh, in any way. In a competitive market, we have noted uh, that the firm, that the amount produced will be uh, QC. We have also said that the a monopolist can produce quantity uh, QM and can sell that quantity for a price uh, equal to uh, PM. Uh, as a consequence of the average cost equal AC1, we have denoted that the uh, revenues of monopolies will be 0 PM uh, A uh, uh, QM. Uh, the cost will be 0 AC1 uh, B uh, QM. This area here represents the monopoly uh, profit uh, box. Well, if you have a highly competitive market that is producing at a, at a um, uh, quantity QC with price equaling uh, P1, you have a competitive market where there are only normal profits. There are no economic profits. You can imagine that uh, competitors would like to get together, uh, restrict the output, and by restricting the output, they can raise the price and they can generate these monopoly profits. We have uh, indicated in the future, however, uh, that, um, uh, that once a cartel forms to raise the price to PM and get these profits, then every uh, producer has an incentive to chisel on the cartel, lower the price below PM, and you can end up back at a price of, of P1. Uh, Where there are lots of producers, cartels are, are very difficult uh, to form and, and maintain. Well, you can imagine that um, uh, com competitors would like nothing better than to go to government and get government to form the cartel for them or somehow restrict output uh, to QM because then that allows them uh, to price at PM. If the government is involved and if the government acts as an enforcer, uh, then these profits can be split among uh, the various uh, producers. Now, in standard uh, uh, monopoly theory, we have indicated that the inefficiency is equal to the, I'm sorry, uh, the triangle uh, ABC. Uh, uh, here we have the benefits of these additional units equal to QM, A, C, QM. Uh, the cost of those additional units are QM, B, C, uh, QC. And this area here is the net loss from uh, uh, from monopoly uh, restrictions on output and monopoly pricing. Uh, what rent-seeking rent theorists have, have noted is that the cost can, the actual welfare loss can be greater than this standard inefficiency uh, triangle. It can, in fact, include uh, this profit box, which is normally thought of as a transfer of income from consumers to producers. And the reason is that in order to get the government to um, uh, restrict output uh, to QM. Uh, the competitors have to get together and they have to lobby uh, Congress to get this uh, a profit box. And it's possible uh, that they will spend resources up to this profit box in order to get the restriction on output. If real resources are used in the, in the lobbying process and they're equal to this, then the inefficiency of monopoly then becomes uh, uh, AC1 PM A uh, uh, C, or this area uh, here. What we have in, in rent seeking is a, is a view of government as a supplier of um, uh, restrictions on output and, uh, and that individual competitors as a demander of those uh, restrictions. Uh, this kind of argument explains, uh, at least within the thinking of economists, uh, the restrictions that we have observed in the past on airline pricing and routes. Uh, trucking uh, routes, and also um, uh, can can explain uh, the restrictions on, say, uh, peanut uh, 
uh, acreage or the number of acres that can be devoted to peanut production, or for that matter, the number of acres that can be devoted uh, to um, uh, uh, tobacco uh, production. We oftentimes think that the monopolist is the one that gets this, that gets the monopoly profits. But in the case of rent seeking, it could very well be that the politicians are the ones who get those monopoly profits. They charge uh, for their restrictions on the output. They do it uh, in the form of outright bribes or demands for outright bribes, or and they do it uh, for, in the in the form of demands for political uh, campaign uh, contributions. Uh, thank you for being with me.